And up next from Bolt, Into the Belly of the Beast Revised. I've actually played an earlier version of this level, but it wasn't recorded, obviously. So yeah, this is a fairly lengthy level. A lot longer than the uh, previous two that we just played, that's for sure. Not sure how much he's changed in this version. I would say the first part of the level was probably the most difficult part in the previous version. Like after I got past the first part, it got quite a bit easier. This part right here specifically is the hardest part to me. Uh, watch out for the bullet bills. Now this part isn't the hard part. This part here is what gave me trouble, but um... It seems he's now added the crash kick here, which is going to make it much, much easier. That's a good improvement. Oh, I landed on top of spikes. I was like, what am I standing on? <laughs> Oh, it seems he takes the crash kick away up there, though. I'm pretty sure that checkpoint is brand new, too. I don't think that was there before. I never figured out how to get that E-Tank over there. Also, we have a choice of two teleporters here, and I think the first time I played this, I chose the uh, green teleporter, and I think Bolt said that I got lucky. So I'm guessing choosing the blue one will kill you. I'm not sure if there actually is a way to get that E-Tank, but clearly there's no way in there, so... Yeah, let's just take the green teleport. Okay, so maybe he, um... changed that. I thought I took the green one before. I, I, I think I took, like, one color the first time, and then I took the other color later in the level, because you come across a similar thing later. I, I guess I chose blue first and green second. Or maybe he changed it, I don't know, maybe he swapped the teleports around in the revised version. Maybe he did that to trick me. Blue teleport it is! Also, yeah, the blocks are supposed to spell out words. I 
I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be like a throat or something right there. Basically, the, the theme of this level is that you're basically getting eaten by like giant things, which I'm not exactly sure how those would exist in the Mega Man world, but yeah. You know, like in RPGs or some games where you get swallowed by like a gigantic creature and you have to like fight your way through its body and stuff? Well, th that's basically the theme of this level. I'm, I'm not sure like what each area is exactly supposed to represent, but... You know, Crash Kick would come in very handy right there. I, I think he added more bats there. I, I don't remember there being bats there before. I mean, that many. I, I think I got past that jump on like my second try. I don't really remember. I just don't really remember having trouble there. Only thing I don't get is, like, if we're inside of a creature, then why are there so many areas that are, like, outside? Oh, there we go. Like, I'm not really sure what these outside areas are supposed to represent. And also why they seem to repeat sometimes, like this. It's those bats over on the corner. They're the problem. <laughs> oh, you just jump over those and fall down like that. Okay, well that one's easier then. There we go, we made it. And now we're in space! sure I died to that multiple times when I was playing this before. Let's not die to that again. <laughs> Let, let's remember where that is. I know that was bad timing. I don't care. I just want to get back to where I was. I can take a hit or two. Thanks, bullet. Be, just be quiet, all of you. Okay, jump. And we made it. Oh hey, we got the, uh in canon. Now see, this is the part where it repeats. I I'm not really exactly sure why this part like repeated like this, but... Yeah, that's what he did. We're sort of doing the level over from the start now, except it's a little bit harder. Not the entire level, though, if I remember correctly. I think it... Oh, uh, yeah, see, now, now it's a little different. Wait. I don't remember this being here. Was that new?
I really don't remember that. I think he added that in. Oh good, we got Crash Kick again, sweet. Now we do this part again. Okay, so yeah, this time I'm taking the green teleporter. Okay, the green one was correct. Oh, whoa! Get out of that room quick! <laughs> Hello to you, too! platforms. I thought more were going to appear. Whoops. I think we're almost to the end at this point. literally just walked right into that one. Yeah, I remember the first time I played this level, I was kind of confused because I thought that, I, I thought the whole level was taking place in like one creature, but now that I think about it, I, I think you're getting like repeatedly eaten by multiple things over the course of the whole thing. I believe it's bats and snakes.
See, if you look, you can actually see it's a snake. You can see the fangs, the little energy up there is the eye. Also, the boss is just up ahead. Yeah, there's no way to avoid damage going through here. It's a long snake. And at long last, time to fight Skull Man. I'm still kind of bad at fighting Skull Man, <laughs> but I am getting better. I mean, the real Skull Man fight's pretty easy. Or, I, I should say, if you're fighting him on normal terrain, he's pretty easy, but when you put him in a terrain like this, he's a little more tricky. Like, when he, like, like if he charge, like, like, if he charges forward on, on the, you know, like, after he does the shield thing, it's like, if he charges forward, you, you, you kind of gotta just, like, guess... If, if he's going to try to jump up to where you are, or if he's going to, like, start shooting you. Seems like more often than not, he's just shooting us this time, though. Because there were times that, you know, like, I would anticipate that he's going to shoot at me, so I try to jump over him, but then he jumps instead and, you know, hits me. But then when I anticipate that he's going to jump, he actually shoots me, so I get hit for standing still. See what, see what I mean right there? I guess you just gotta be, like, ready to react quickly. Oh, right! I have an E-Tank! I should use that, you know, if I get really far in the fight. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. <laughs> oh, I just realized that means needle cannon. Right, that's needle man's weapon. Well, that's it for the Bolt Grey Wing levels for now. 